Hey guys, it's me and YSC Einstein from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Welcome to April. No April Fools. Another beautiful day here at, wo at work. I love this market. I love day trading. I love the fact that you never know what you're going to get. I love the fact that you can investigate and you can find out what makes this market move and you can make judgments. You don't always win, but if you win 51% of the time, I think you're good to go. Dow Jones Industrial Average hanging here at 20,650. Basically closed flat. We were down over 100 points at one point this morning. Came in this morning. You know, these weekends are sort of a, a, a media play of chatter about what they feel about Mr. Trump, what he's going to do, you know, about the dislocations of that going on. The fact that he's got his son-in-law being like the most powerful guy in the world. He's a wild card. Really, it's confusing. Good night, Gino. Thank you again, bud. It's a fascinating market. It's a fascinating life to be living at the moment. It's a fascinating administration. We don't know what's going to happen. People are sort of reading a lot into this, and my gut is, men, and my advice to you is, don't listen to too much of this chatter. Too much of the chatter will make you sell when you don't really need to sell. Some of the chatter will make you buy when you may not be sure buying. At this point, I'm kind of on the sidelines because we're really not clear what's really going on. We're still in the state of abyss of dislocation over the, with the administration. He hasn't met everyone from around the world. He hasn't even decided all his cabinet members. Okay? We don't know what the interest rate situation is going to be. Every day they decide if the market's down, the economy's not doing as well, they're going to cut them back. Oh, in this rally, we had a big rally because oil turned around. Now the economy's better, and we're going to have more, more interest rate raises. They, have, they don't know what to say anymore. The media is on fire with headlines, and they know the market reacts to it. Today we were down just because the downside risk is more severe than the upside risk. We need a real reason to go higher. We don't have one right now. Let's see how the market closed. The Russell got a little bit. So I, I kind of think we came in today with a little bit of a, a motif of profit taking. Market's up. Doesn't have a reason to go higher right now. Questionable chatter over the weekend about all kinds of stuff. They say stuff when they have nothing to say. And they just keep chattering and babbling and making stuff up. This is the longest rally. This is the shortest rally. This is the longest sell-offs in the Dow. I mean, they just, they just they don't know what to say, so they just love trends. They love creating a headline, right? More than one of something is a friggin' bunch. There's one banana, two bananas, three bananas, a bunch. It's, it's just really what's going on. So don't read too much into it. Maybe sit on the sidelines for a little while. Let's watch what happens here. Let's see how it unwinds. Today we were down, kind of weakness, kind of a, you know, an edgy weekend. You weren't really sure what really was going to happen. Oil got down, down, oil came in a little bit, okay. Uh, the Russell got hit, small caps. We were down 110, 115 points. But what happens at the ever, beginning of every month? Fresh money coming into the market. Historically, that's what happens on the first of each month. So while we were down 100 points and we bounced off that low, the market seemed, and even though we had selling balances, the market seemed to just rally into it and not really care. People were chipping away. They're making a list. They're checking it twice. They want to find out who's naughty or nice and giddy up. It's, it's like a shopping list, right? So when the market's down, pick stocks that have value, that may be down because the market's down, but not down because there's any really good reason for them to be down. That's one of the great things Jim Cramer always says. When the market gets hit, look at the stocks that... Got hit for a good reason, and then look at the ones that follow the trend and buy those. Put those on your shopping list. So that's all I have to say for the day. Market ended up closing flat. Spiders off a touch. Russell off bigger. Not a lot to say. Market rallied off the lows. Reversal is the key. Tommy Lee, ladies and gentlemen. The German women will go wild over Tommy Lee. Giddy up. We'll send them <laughs> on over there. Anyway. <laughs> uh, you, ne you always need another brother in Berlin, baby. Anyway. Um, that's where we're at. Let's see how the rest of the month hangs out. I love you all. Einstein out.